Good morning, my little buttercups. That's how my grandfather used to greet me sometimes. I thought y'all would like that. This corner is called Gleed's Corner. There's Zachary's Restaurant. The courthouse is right behind me. And this building is a building built in the 40s, but previous to that, there was a grocery store there owned by the former state senator, the first African-American elected official from Columbus to the Senate named Robert Glee. Behind here, and I'll take you down lower later, but behind here and down the street and literally in this same block was a cotton mill. And the cotton mill was built by Mr. Harrison Johnston, a Union loyalist during the Civil War, but he built the mill after the Civil War and uh, ran it until, well, after his death, and it burned down in, in the 19, like 39 or 40. Anyways, the cotton there burned for days, but that's not this story. This story is about this building right here. This building is now owned by the still titled the Colored Masonic Temple of Columbus, which is a very old Masonic organization. They rebuilt this building here in the 40s after the mill had burned. But what's interesting is this building was Robert Gleed's site of his grocery store. Gleed was a runaway slave who followed his beloved from Virginia down to Mississippi instead of going to his own freedom in Canada in 1861, and he was captured here and was sold on the auction block and re-indentured as an enslaved person until the end of the Civil War. After the Civil War, during Reconstruction, he worked hard, saved his money, was elected to office first as a councilman, then as a member of the state Congress, and then he left Congress after two terms and wanted to run for sheriff. Unfortunately, the local clan was not pleased with him wanting to run for sheriff or encouraging the black majority to vote. And so they ran him out of town, essentially, and he had to hide for a while. But this is where Robert Gleed's grocery store was at the corner of Gleed's Corner in Columbus, Mississippi.